The Boreal Forest, a vast, breathtaking landscape that extends all the way around the base of the Arctic Circle. These wondrous forests are home to some of the most beautiful and mysterious creatures to inhabit this earth. Now, you may think that this landscape hasn't changed since the Ice Age. However, you'd be dreadfully mistaken. With constant wildfires and other such natural occurrences, the structure of the boreal forest is constantly changing. And that's not all. The trees did in fact move at one point. With the glaciers that moved all throughout North America during the Ice Ages, the trees of the area also moved along with these giant glaciers, traveling great distances without actually having to move. How do we know this, you ask? Well, the evidence is all in the fossils. Fossilized plant parts, including macrofossils like cones, leaves, and stems, as well as microfossils like pollen grain, link the appearance and disappearance of trees all around the world, including the boreal forests. With information like this, we can find out what has already happened and maybe predict what may come in the future. Taking a closer look into individual species in the boreal forest, we see amazing feats of evolution and adaptation to the environment. To pick one species in particular, there's the Siberian tiger. Located in the most southern parts of Russia, these powerful predators have evolved themselves a very simple yet effective form of staying alive, camouflage. If we look at the stripes that cover their body, we can see that they provide an excellent camouflage in the forests which they roam. By breaking up their image and making it harder for them to be seen, therefore making them a much more potent predator. However, even with this amazing adaptation, the Siberian tiger is now a critically endangered species because of poaching and the destruction of their natural habitat. Another species we see is the Arctic fertility. The Arctic fertility uses a very similar tactic as to that of the Siberian tiger. It uses camouflage on its wings to disappear into the scenery. It has a deep orange color wing with black and brown smudges. When one of these lands on a leaf with its wings fully extended, it becomes virtually invisible. Thanks to this gifted evolution, the Arctic fertility population is thriving and showing no signs of stopping anytime soon. You may not immediately realize it, but humans are severely impacting this ego region. With constant construction projects for ski resorts and other such locations, natural habitats in the boreal forest have been drastically cut down. Another problem in the area is logging. Logging has become a very serious topic in the areas of conservation of the boreal forest. One species in particular that we are hurting is the sugar maple. The sugar maple is truly a gift from evolution. Whenever this tree feels as though it is threatened, it will immediately find some way to begin to grow a new tree, in order to further its species. It can do this through a variety of ways. Usually, it will simply release all of the seeds stored in its fruit, which hang from its branches. However, if it is cut down to a stump, it will shoot off a new tree from either its roots or from the remaining stump. However, even with these amazing feats of evolution, it is still not enough to keep up with the devastating amount of human consumption. Because of logging, forest fires, and the increase of temperatures, the sugar maple population is slowly declining in numbers. They are not threatened yet, but if we do not act quickly, they may become extinct before we even notice. The final species we will look at today is reindeer moss. Originally called reindeer moss because of its antler-like structure, it is now known that it is also the main source of food for reindeer in the wild. Reindeer moss falls under a category called lichen. In the world of moss and fungi, lichen means it is composed of two parts, an alga and a fungus. 
The alga in the moss contains chlorophyll, which allows the plant to make its own food, decreasing its dependability on other species. The other part in the lichen, the fungus, is what gives the particular form of moss its sponge-like structure, which keeps it from falling over. Now, if we go back to the topic of this being the main source of food for wild reindeer, our thoughts are turning to sand flies. Without this amazing species of moss, there'd be no food for the reindeer. And without food, the reindeer would all die out and Sam would be left to find some new means of transportation. So really, without reindeer moss, or even boreal forests in general, there would be no true spirit of Christmas. Today, the boreal forest is not threatened. However, if the degradation of its resources continues at this alarming rate, it may be in the very near future. With adequate care and protection, this wondrous place can be kept alive for generations. Instead of waiting until it's a serious problem and then try to protect it, let's protect it now and stop the need for a problem altogether. This way, boreal forests around the world will continue to thrive and stay active for generations to come, bringing along with it all of its beauty, its life, and its mysteries.